What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. As you guys might have seen recently, I made a video where I shared some of my pet peeves whenever I'm out driving. So I decided I'm going to make a series sharing some of my pet peeves on different topics. So as you guys know, I used to work retail, so today I decided to share some of my pet peeves that I had whenever I used to work retail and was a retail employee. Some of these pet peeves, if you are a retail employee yourself, you might agree with some of these. Some of these might be across the board and everybody that works retail might feel the same way or a little bit similar. So let's just get right into it. So the first one here, when a customer comes and asks for something that isn't in your department, and expects you to take them to it. Now, where I used to work was a retail store, automotive, hardware, sports and seasonal, housewares, stuff like that. I worked automotive and it was a small store where you knew generally where certain things in other departments were. However, as an automotive employee, since I'm only strictly in automotive and I only worked in automotive, I didn't know where everything was in the store. So occasionally, we would have customers that would come up asking where something was. Now, if I knew where something was, I would tell them it should be down such and such of aisle in such and such section. But sometimes I wouldn't know where certain things are. So I would ask other employees. I basically would have on my radio and I would just say, does anybody know where this is? Or does anybody from this department know where this is? And a lot of the time customers would either be okay with that and go and see them but sometimes they would be pissed off and say stuff like, no, I'm asking you where it is. And it's like, I'm sorry, I don't work in that department. They are the expert of their department. If you go and ask them, they'll be able to tell you everything you need to know about it. A lot of customers are rude, but some of the times, like with retail employees, we learn to just have their rudeness go through one ear and out the other. We don't care at the end of the day. The next one here is when management would do favors for friends but not regular customers or other employees. So for me personally, I had, it was basically the store manager and to me, he was a complete dick. Uh, he would always do things for friends. For example, if they came in for a warranty and their warranty was no good, he would just simply go ahead and warranty it anyways, which is against store policy. Or if they came in and needed something and it wasn't on sale, he would give it to them for the sale price. But whenever a regular customer that would come in, and we have quite a few in our area because we are in a small town, there's quite a few that own their own business. And they'd always be spending thousands and thousands of dollars at our store every month. But he still wouldn't do them any of these fail favors. He wouldn't warranty anything if the warranty was no good and he wouldn't give them sale products. And same with the employees. He wouldn't do that. He would make us wait until the item is on sale, even if it is a couple weeks or months away. To me, I don't agree with that at all. If you're going to do favors for your friends, for sure you should be doing it for employees. But to me, you should definitely be doing it for regular customers, especially if they're spending thousands of dollars a month at your store. To me, that makes sense, but he just never understood that. Next is when managers would tell you what to do just because they are managers. So the three main uh, people that would do this at my work were the owner, the service slash parts manager and the store manager. So they're the type of people that even though you work retail and for me, uh, I worked retail for five years, working retail is basically a routine. You learn your routine of what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, what time, what certain time certain things need to be done and which days certain things need to be done. It's basically a routine and you learn it the longer you work retail. But there are still some managers that just tell you what to do or leave you a list of what to do that simply include everything that is part of your regular routine. And they tell you to do these things just because they're a manager. They want to have that authority over you and they want to have at the end of the day to be able to tell you what to do. And to me, it pisses me off, especially when you know what you are doing, you're a good worker and you usually get all of your work done. And to me, if you are going to leave, if you are a manager and you're going to leave a list, I could see putting things on the list that are out of the normal routine, certain things that you want done or need done that are unusual and aren't a regular routine or anything like that. But to put your regular stuff on the list as well, 
to me, I just don't get it. I understand that you are a manager and you want to put it on the list to just say that you did it, but it is unnecessary, especially when you've worked there as long as I did. I worked there for five years. That routine was basically drilled in my head of what needs to be done, when it needs to be done. So to me, it shouldn't be a manager telling you all the time, you know what you are doing. Next is when a customer asks you to check to see if you have something in stock, the shelf is empty, so you check on the computer and it says zero on hand, and then they go ahead and ask you, can you check in the back? Now to me, for my store, I can't say for all retail stores, but our store had a system that it everything that came into the store was put in the system and it said how many we had on hand in the computer. So if it, the computer says we have zero on hand, the computer sometimes would make mistakes, but if it says zero on hand, usually there was none in stock. There is zero on hand. So I would always say in this instance to customers, sorry, we don't have any in stock. The computer's telling me we don't have any in stock. I have nowhere to look because we also had a warehouse categorized and it would tell me a location of where something was if it was in stock. Next is when a customer has a problem and decides to yell at you when it wasn't your fault. So this usually happens whenever uh, it is a warranty or something like that and the customer for whatever reason is not allowed to get their warranty. They would usually yell and scream at whoever is dealing with them, which it's not their fault. For whatever reason, there is a reason why you cannot get your warranty and to yell at the employee makes no sense to me. Next is when a customer has a problem and asks to speak with the manager, and the manager tells them the exact same thing that you told the customer. Now to me, this is the best thing in my opinion. I do hate whenever a customer asks to speak with the manager, but it is extremely awesome. It's an amazing feeling whenever the manager tells them the same exact thing that I just said. Now to me, where I worked, I worked there for five years and retail employees typically know and they learn the store's policies and everything that's allowed and certain things like that. And when a customer doesn't get their way, they think that if they talk to the manager, they'll get what they want uh, no matter what. And usually that's not the case. Usually managers know that whenever we call them over to talk to a customer, Usually this is the instance where the customer just wants to get something for free and it usually doesn't go their way. Some of the times it will just to get them out of our hair, but most of the time it does not. It doesn't do them any benefits. And we as retail employees love when this happens because it really makes us feel good and lets us know that we know our stuff. And the last one here is when a manager yells at you when you didn't get a lot of work done, but it was because it was extremely busy with customers and phone calls. So I worked automotive parts and service, so we would always have customers coming in asking us to look up parts for them and asking us to book appointments in our shop for them. And we'd always have customers call asking us to look up parts for them and asking us to schedule appointments for them. So we would always be busy. We always would have the phones ringing nonstop and we'd always have to stop and answer the phones. That was top priority was to be uh, to get the shop earning money. And a lot of the managers, like the three that I said, the owner, the service manager, and the store manager never understood that concept. That's when we have to stop to answer the phone, we can't go and put product on the shelf. We can't go and do other things in the store that are part of our daily routine if we're extremely busy. And especially when it is one of their big sale weekends, if usually whenever that happens, they're understaffed to begin with. And then we end up not getting anything done because there's just so many customers. The phone is ringing nonstop and we're constantly running around to get customers what they need or what they want and helping customers. To me, working retail, customers, no matter what retail store you're working at, customers are always number one. You always want to help the customers out. So if you're worried because other stuff, part of your daily routine and stuff like that isn't getting done, Consider maybe it's because there wasn't a lot of staff in. Maybe it was extremely busy and there was a lot of other things that needed to be done. The phones ring and stuff like that. But most of the time when managers, at least the managers that, were, that I worked at, the three I mentioned, the ones that were dicks, never understood that it can get busy, especially in automotive. It was the busiest department. So these are some of my pet peeves back whenever I worked retail. Luckily, I do not work there anymore. I have since quit. But these were the ones that used to piss me off the most whenever I was working retail. Some of them to me seem to be ones that are very similar and other retail employees might feel the same way towards some of these. 
Let me know down below which ones you agree with, which ones have you dealt with before in the past working your retail job. I really want to know what you guys think. Or is there any that I mentioned that you just 100% as a retail employee do not agree with? I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm going to be continuing this series. I have a bunch more topics where I want to share my pet peeves on each topic with you guys. So I'm hoping to do this at least until I run out of topics. And it should be about once a month that I plan on doing this video and uploading these videos. So I really am focusing on it. It's going to be my pet peeve series. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. If you have any ideas on other topics for pet peeves that you guys want to see me do and you want to hear my pet peeves on, let me know down in the comments below. But I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.